Sarah Corsa, thank you very much indeed for joining us. If this panic mode continues, the economic crisis becomes something of a financial crisis. What are your big worries right now? Of course, the, the problem of very low growth in Italy is quite a, a serious one. We think that, the, uh, as you said, the, 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 it is of utmost importance that the government uh, deliver a credible plan for growth uh, as soon as possible, together with uh, um, the decision to bring forward the fiscal consolidation effort. Uh, uh, in 2012, because we, we think that the, the, the fact that the most of the consolidation effort uh, uh, is envisaged for 2013-2012 uh, rises uh, uh, on, from on financial markets the, the doubt that uh, some impl implementation risks uh, exist. So we think that this is uh, uh, the most crucial thing the government should do. Uh, in order to calm uh, financial markets pressure. Now, the Centre for Economics and Business said this yesterday, Italy is bound to default. Do you agree? No, we, we don't agree on that. We run a, a sustainability exercise which shows that Italy need to face uh, um, further upward pressure on interest rate and for a, prolonged, for a very prolonged period of time in order to enter into an explosive uh, trajectory of the debt to GDP ratio. At this level, uh, Italy can still, can still, can still afford uh, to, to have this level, high level of interest rate without uh, entering into an explosive uh, dynamics of the debt to GDP ratio. Of course, the same sustainability analysis shows that uh, need, uh, Italy needs to grow at a uh, faster pace uh, imagine that if, we, if Italy could run at around 2% of GDP, um, the debt to GDP ratio, even at this level of interest rate, would decline in the long term to 60%. This tells you that how important growth is uh, for Italy to uh, afford its high level, its high level of, uh, of de uh, public debt uh, over GDP. Yeah. Now, Italian but we don't think bonds... that Italy is on the verge of the, of the default. This is not true because uh, fiscal. You, you, you need to keep in mind that fiscal uh, policy, uh, fiscal austerity uh, uh, has worked quite well during the crisis, and Italy has, has a relatively low level of uh, public deficit uh, compared also to the rest of the eurozone. Now, it so all, the, it the all efforts that, that Chiara, I'm sorry to interrupt you. We are running out of time. It all depends, crucially, on what happens on the bond markets. Italian bonds slumped yesterday. It would seem that the ECB debt purchase really failed to reassure investors. The ECB has a real test later on today, as does Italy in the bond market. Uh, yesterday, the ECB said that the, the S&P program uh, is not uh, involving at the moment Italy and Spain, and it, it was limited to Ireland and probably Portugal. Uh, this is uh, something which came out from uh, sources. But uh, uh, we think that it is very, it would be, it would be very problematic uh, for the ECB to step in uh, in the bond market uh, and buying uh, Italian bonds. So, the the, the things that, that need to be done urgently, and this is something that Trisha pointed out yesterday, is that the FSF needs to be operative as soon as possible because this is the instrument that the European leaders have set up to calm investor fears, and this is something that needs to be done uh, immediately.